Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today I have a 2015 Lincoln MKX, and I want to walk through how to install the eTrailer.com trailer hitch receiver. It's going to be a class three hitch. This is what it's going to look like on the vehicle. You can see uh, cross tube kind of does hang down a little bit, but it doesn't take away from the vehicle. Uh, the outside of our receiver tube kind of stays nice and tucked up underneath. It's not sticking out, so we don't have to worry about hitting our legs or our shins on it when we're trying to load and unload the vehicle. As I mentioned, it's going to be a class three hitch. It's going to give us a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. The hitch pin hole is going to be five eighths inch in diameter. So you're going to take a standard five eighths hitch pin. The hitch pin and clip does not come with a hitch. However, they can be found here at eTrailer.com. We're going to have rolled steel safety chain loops. You can see very large openings. That's going to accommodate different size safety chain hooks. The hitch itself is going to be a steel construction, black powder coat finish, so it's really going to help resist any rust or corrosion and stay looking nice for a really long time. Now as far as our weight ratings and measurements go, from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost part of our bumper is going to be about 5 inches. That number is important for any of your hitch mount accessories that may fold up against the vehicle. You want to make sure they're not going to make contact. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube is going to be about 13 inches. Keep that number in mind for any of your hitch mount accessories that may require a little bit more ground clearance. As far as our weight capacities go, we're going to have a 400 pound max tongue weight, which is the downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. So when you're loading any of that cargo or trailer, you want to make sure you're not exceeding that downward pressure. We're going to have a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight, which is the trailer plus the load included. I do recommend checking the owner's mail of your vehicle. Make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. You're going to go with the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. Keep in mind this hitch is not rated for weight distribution. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how to get it installed. To start our installation, we're going to take a strap. And what I like to do is hang it. You can hang it from anywhere along your axle. I like to hang it from the springs. Pretty easy to get to. And we're going to run it underneath our exhaust pipe. I'm going to cinch that up. Then we're going to take some soapy water and then we're going to spray each one of our hangers. We're going to have one here. We're going to have one right in the center. And then we're going to have one on the driver's side right up here. And we're going to take a pry bar and we're going to pry off one of the ends. Now if you find that it's a little too hard to get a pry bar in here, you can also use channel locks and you're going to repeat that same thing for the two remaining hangers. Once you get all of them removed, we can slowly lower our exhaust to give us a little more room to work. You just want to make sure you don't allow the exhaust to hang freely and make sure the strap is supporting it. Next we're going to remove our heat shield. We'll start on our driver's side. You're going to have two bolts here on the outside. You're going to use an 8 millimeter socket to remove those. Here in the center, we're going to use a 10 millimeter socket to remove that one. We're going to take a pry tool, trim panel tool, or flathead screwdriver. We're going to have a rubber plug right here. Remove that. And on the side here, there's going to be a clip that goes up into the frame rail. Slide backwards. We're going to pull down. And you're going to have some wiring attached. We need to remove that. And then we'll set our heat shield aside. And we're going to remove our passenger side heat shield. We're using the 10 millimeter socket. We'll repeat the same thing here. The rubber plug. And then we'll slide our heat shield out and set it aside. What we're going to do on each side of the vehicle, we're going to be using this hole, this hole, and then we're going to have to drill one in the back. We're going to be using our hitch as a template. What we're going to do is we're going to install the hardware for this hole and this hole first and set our hitch up into place. We're going to start with our pull wire, spring side. We're going to go through this hole. And we're going to come out Right behind the fascia at the end of the frame rail, there's a gap right down at the bottom. What I suggest doing is on this very 
most forward hole here, kink that wire like that, and that'll keep it from pulling through. We're gonna take spacer block, we're gonna slide it on, and we're gonna push it into the hole in the end of the frame rail. We're gonna take our carriage bolt, we're gonna thread it on, and then slide it up into the hole, or into the end of the frame rail. And then pull it down like that. We're gonna repeat that same process for this hole on each side of the vehicle. Now with an extra set of hands, we're gonna lift our hitch into place. We're gonna feed our pull wires to the corresponding holes in the hitch. Slide up into position. We'll get one of our bolts to come through and we're going to remove the pull wire. Once you remove the pull wire, you're going to add on a flange nut. And we're just going to do one of these on each side. We're going to take a drill bit and we're going to drill this hole out. We want to drill it out to 17 30 seconds. What we're going to do is use our hitch as a template. I'm going to start with a small bit. I'll pull the hitch down and then drill my hole out the remaining. Once you have a pilot hole drilled, we'll come back and we'll remove our hitch and then drill out our hole the rest of the way. To finish out my hole, what I'm doing is I'm going to use a step bit. It makes it a little bit easier. Once we get one side done, we're going to repeat the process on the other. What we're going to do is we're going to take the pull wire that we pulled off of one of our bolts, and we're going to repeat the process for getting our hardware into place. Spring side first, the hole, and the end of the bumper reel. Do plate first. That on our bolt. Keep in mind this is the longest bolt in the kit. It's going to go towards the back. The very back hole that we just drilled. repeat that same thing on the other side. Next, with an extra set of hands, we're going to reinstall our hitch. We'll get our pull wires into the corresponding holes on the hitch. Get the hitch raised up in position. Keep in mind that that second bolt that you took your wire off of, you're going to make sure you don't push that back up into the frame rail. Go ahead and get a nut put on that one on each side that'll hold our hitch up in place. We can come back, remove our pull wires, and then install our remaining nuts. Then we're gonna take our heat shield. We're gonna trim off this small tab. We're gonna do it off each one. And with our hitch loosely installed, we're gonna slide our heat shield in between the hitch and the frame. We're gonna install only the bolt in the center. Once we get one side done, we're going to repeat that same process on the other. We're going to use a three quarter inch socket to tighten all of our hardware. Once we get all of our hardware tightened, we're going to come back with a three quarter inch socket. We're going to torque all of our hardware to the specifications and the instructions. Now with our hitch in place, we can go ahead and reinstall our exhaust in reverse order from the way we took it off. Might make it a little bit easier if you spray down the hanger and the rod prior to putting it on. It will make the rubber hanger slide on a little bit easier. Once you have your exhaust back in place, you can remove your safety strap 
then you're ready to go. It's going to do it for a look at an installation on eTrailer.com, class 3 trailer hitch receiver on a 2015 Lincoln MKX.